my truck jacked up. This is how we roll. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Get your hands up. This is how we roll. This is how we do. We burn it up the town. Not as me and you. This is how we roll. Oh, oh, oh. Man, hey, look here. I think somebody's starting to troll over to bother me. Call my phone, bother me, and knock me off my time. Shoe fly, don't bother me. How y'all doing this morning? Good morning, good morning, good morning. I got to go back and talk to my chemist. This new chemist I talked to, I don't really, I don't know. I don't know. I got to talk to him. Yeah, I don't think me and this runt stuff agree with each other, so I don't, uh-uh. Yeah. I don't like that herb right there. I, I, I don't like the study in that one. That shit that knock you. No, that's that sleepy stuff. That shit knocked the natural paws in my ass last night. Whatever that stuff is right now, I'm cool on that. That must be that rapper stuff when you go to sleep. The nigga could have walked right up on me and put their hands in my pocket. I would have just said, okay, my nigga. Shit, you got it. Hey. Yeah, I like I like this. Uh, I like this strand right here. This, this right here good for me. This up. Uh, crunk strand. Anybody, anybody heard of anything called runs? Run. Just take off running. That's what you don't want. <laughs> you a rookie? <laughs> nah, yeah, I want. Boy, look at here. I don't want no one. Boy, look at here. Uh, uh. That shit there. Hey, I went to sleep eating dinner. I went to sleep eating my leftover Sunday dinner. You know, some people don't cook Sunday dinner. You know what I mean? That shit knocked the natural pause in my head. I ain't gonna lie. That shit don't get you just how you be. Man. Smoking weed. Hey, you a play? I better go get traffic. One thing about me, nothing in my body. Lady. I need weed. I mean, saying no, sir. I ain't messed up much there. I like that truck there, but oh man, they got they, they got the boy, they got the oh man, they got the ultimate troll over here today. Oh man, it plays left and right must not be working, boy. They done bought this troll back out. I thought this fake Geechee over here done retired from trolling for me. I thought the damn fake Geechee had done retired. This nigga back. This nigga back, huh? Good morning. What's up, Jared? Yeah, I had to go back. See, I left. I left up north. I had to come back down here to to the old the East Coast chemist. These East Coast chemists, man, they strands, Lord. I don't want no more of that shit. Mm -mm. Sativa is the way to go. Yes, yes. CBD is the way to go. But if it's Sativa, it's the way to go, too. Yeah, I like to be up, man. This other shit knock knock holes in your boy. Look at that shit there. I was eating my Sunday dinner and went to sleep. Sounds like <laughs> Interesting. 
traffic. Wow, that's what you want from me, my brother? Damn, my nigga. Damn. Just damn. Wowzers. <laughs> they be your own kind. Oh, man. man, I need a white man to get, man. I'm tired of arguing with you niggas, man. I'm finna go cuss out me a white guy. I'm tired of arguing with some dumb ass niggas. I want to argue with me a white guy, man. I'm tired of this shit. Because it it's proving my point that white folks can't really or don't really say things to us like we do. So a nigga get up here and say I'm trafficking. So this nigga here crazy, man. I can't even talk to people like that. I can't even take guys like that serious. I'm breaking up. Oh, time to smoke. If I'm breaking up, I got more time to smoke. Boy, them white boys done taught you niggas well, boy. <laughs> them white guys that taught you niggas well, boy, you niggas know how to disparage a nigga name better than anybody I ever seen in life. Can't no nigga disparage a nigga better than nigga. These niggas say all sorts of idiotic things. The audio should be straight. I done pulled up now. I don't know what they got going on. Pulled up to the high. These niggas done said they're going to have drone parties over my house where I'm getting kicked out. Damn, man. We would have called that shit racist if white people would have said that shit. If white people would have said that shit, we would have called that shit racist. Keep it a bean. If some white people like, hell yeah, I'm gonna fly some drones over that nigga house. That nigga finna get kicked out. So yeah, we gonna capture it on camera. We gonna film that shit, put it out for the world to see. <laughs> and white people would have said some shit like that, niggas would have had a fit. All right, Ronald, enough of you, boy. Let me get you out of here. I don't like niggas like you no more, Ronald. Y'all think everything a joke. With so many niggas in jail, nigga, you don't ever make a joke like that. I don't like niggas like you. Get the fuck up out my chat. Niggas like you are the worst type of niggas in the world. Niggas like you, Ronald Jones, are the worst type of niggas in the world. Nigga don't know what to say, so they always end up saying some stupid ass shit. KB so silly, Gilly, and see no cousins. I don't know. Shit, he, he told me they might be related. <laughs> See, he told me before he told y'all. I just ain't say nothing. I'm just waiting on him to break the news. I was just, you know, letting him make the news, you know, break the news. Yeah, I ain't going to let that nigga troll no more. Once you say something that stupid, you got to go. You got to go. Niggas ain't got nothing else but to worry about some dumb shit. So now Noriega on that summer jam screen. Boy, they got Nori on that summer jam screen. Nori, what was you thinking? You might as well just taking a picture with Trump. Nori, you know you black. You know you ain't free. You know our community is just a monolith. You know if they don't like somebody, you can't like them. Come on now, Nori. You could have been taking the picture of trolling. That ain't trolling. Now, it's one thing that they ain't nobody going to consider trolling. They not going to consider what Nori did trolling. I can guarantee you that. Nori, you done fucked up. You done took pictures with white folks they hate. Now you got to pay. Now you got to pay, Nori. You got to pay. So Nori took a picture. I couldn't believe it. I said, what the fuck is Nori standing up here? But if you read the caption, he was just joking. He said, uh, how come they don't want to ban you, but not me? 
or ban me, but not you, or something like that. They want to cancel you, but not me. So he's clearly joking. I don't know how they end up in the same place at the same time, but hey, that's none of my business. And it ain't none of these people business that commented. And imagine that, Van Latham and uh what's the what's her face? What's the one that says something? Van Latham and the other lady, uh Jamel Hill, which she's always around to check a nigga. I don't know who the hell done ordained uh Jamel Hill as the nigga checker, but for some reason, she's a black woman that can check every man in the fucking world that's black. And she gonna just come out and say whatever she gonna say about Nori, which I don't get it. What is it her business? And both of those individuals got fired for their opinion. You would think that they would be more open-minded about having your own opinion. Whether you agree with it or not, you got them two people lost their job because of their individual opinion that they should be able to have. But instead of them becoming advocates for people having their opinion because they lost their job, what do they do? They want to censor somebody else's opinion. What the fuck? And the man ain't even say shit. I think people losing their goddamn mind. How do y'all have friends? How do y'all have friends and people that you talk to? Everybody think the same, huh? I mean, that's the only way that you guys can have friends. Everybody that you know must think just like you. For real. If you listen to how these people talk and how mad they get, for somebody that just do something that they don't agree with. Oh, man, they, they sitting there talking like, yo, bro, Nori, that ain't it, bro. That ain't going to move you forward for the community, bro. That ain't going to do it. So I'm like, damn, it always be a nigga to get in another motherfucker way. You don't agree with a motherfucker, so you'll take away all your support. So if that's the case, if you don't agree with somebody, you'll take away all your support. We must damn sure agree with them white people because $1.6 trillion say we support the fuck out of them. We don't never take away our support from the white folk. So we are the hook, line, and sinker with whatever white people say and what whatever white people do because from what I see, the white folks don't really have to tap dance or get real low or a little for our opinion or our approval. They just do whatever it is the fuck they want to do. We must be really support white folk because we do not take our money away at all. Never, ever. Ever, ever. Never, ever. <laughs> Swirl uh, girl said, but Meg, Cardi B, all the hoochies get sent to the Dems. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Now, see, I was thinking the same way until after I saw that picture. After I saw this new picture that was in white pants and she was throwing out a pitch. Uh, Meg's so fine, she'll make me change my mind. So I don't think I'm going to sit here and talk about Meg. I'm sorry. She fine. So, you know, I get what you're saying, though. I feel you. But I'm just saying, if I'm approached, I'm just saying I might. Never mind. He talking about where the hoochie said. <laughs> Ronald, get your ever put your time out, boy. We don't even want you in here trolling. <sighs> they talking about we put our money to good use, that's for sure. Damn right. We showed up. She, hey, she talking about 20, 20, 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hey, that 20, 20, 20 shit last night. Uh uh. That runt shit, I ain't never uh uh. No, 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 no. That shit hit different, hit different. That's that's that sleepy shit. Mm mm. Mm mm. I can't mess with that sleepy shit. Approach what? Asking for a friend. Don't fall for it, KB. That's how they get you. Who gets you? Mm mm. No, sir. Happy Monday, good people. Kwame Brown, what you got on, Kwame Brown? Shit. Boy, look here. 
I got on goddamn uh, 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 a bunch of clothes. I got on about six jackets. I got on six pair of long john, pair of pants. Yeah, I got two pair of boots on. I got one of them big ass Kanye West snow boots on. Yeah, I'm real covered. Everything covered up. Nothing to see. Yes, but yeah, happy Monday to you, Miss Ann Perry. <laughs> yeah, I'm covered up. I got six pair of jeans on, two jackets. Motherfucker keeps saying I'm stank, man. Hey, listen. Hey, why is a person worried about the way I smell that never going to see me again? I don't understand this shit. He ain't never going to see me again. And now I know a motherfucker don't cook no Sunday dinner. He ain't got to never worry about me. A motherfucker don't cook no Sunday dinner. Man, I got to go to my auntie. Man, I'm hey, look here. I'm going to go to my auntie house in the next couple of days. Matter of fact, I might go down to my auntie house next Sunday. Show you how my auntie get down. Shit. Sundays ain't no ain't no dinner. Say I'm eight o'clock. No dinner. Motherfucker catching the drive through. <laughs> yeah, I love I love my auntie. Mm -mm. Yes, my auntie love me. Yeah, boy, I love my auntie, boy. Kwame, you stink now. Imagine that. Any lie would do, huh? Yeah, I'm, um, I do stink at times. I, I shit when I'm coming off the treadmill and shit like that. I stink. Well, shit, I love my goddamn auntie. You know, my mama's sister. You know what I'm saying I love the hell out my auntie. My mama's sister. I love my mama's sister. Hell yeah. The rain coming your way, KB? You think it's going to rain today? No, what kind of rain you talking about? I hope you talking about actual rain and not a metaphor. What's up, Mel? Because, shit, I'm on SDT for the day. Shit, last night I sound like I was going to sleep during the live, and I probably was. Shit. I fell asleep eating my dinner, Sunday dinner. Yeah, I, I love, man, I'm telling you. I'm going to eat my mama's sister food on Sunday. This Sunday, I'm probably going to eat my mama's sister food. My auntie. Hey, yeah, I'm going to tear that goddamn food up. My mama's sister going to cook a spread on Sunday. For shizzle, my nizzle. My mama's sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man but it's, it's as the world turns now now these niggas don't know why they mad at me now and i see this one nigga you get in you can't do nothing to get away from this nigga i get this nigga his money back everything be the nicest guy in the world this nigga still yelling mentioning my name 
nigga cry baby one minute, gangster the next. I don't know what to say about these people. I ain't never seen a crybaby gangster. <laughs> That's the new set. Nigga, I'm from the crybaby gangsters, cuz. What the fuck you mean, cuz? Don't let these tears fool you, cuz. I'll dry these tears up and wet you, cuz. Matter of fact, I'll keep the tears going to add extra wetness to the wetness, cuz. Better back the fuck up, cuz. <laughs> you nigga, you nigga, a crybaby ass gangster. What the fuck am I into, man? Why can't these niggas leave me the fuck alone, man? See this nigga boo-hoo crying one minute, and then this nigga goddamn threatening to come. I'll bring my motherfucking ass to Atlanta! Yeah, nigga, you might want to stop yelling and smoking cigarettes and shit, because you're going to need all that energy you bring your motherfucking ass over here. I don't understand this shit, man. I thought this shit was entertaining at first, but you niggas got damn shit. You niggas is crazy. For real, though. You niggas crazy in real life, though. Yeah, I can tell you niggas ain't joking. Some of you motherfuckers be having veins. I'm telling you, be having veins coming out your goddamn neck. You know, it don't just be high. Y'all don't just be high and have a bad day, have a bad high. You niggas be like this. You niggas like this all the time. You niggas like this for real. Because there's people that see me in real life. I'm telling you, they see me everywhere. And they be seeing me just chilling like I say. I'm just chilling. I don't bother no motherfucking body. I really do just be chilling. Country is a motherfucker just chilling, minding my motherfucking business. But you guys, boy, shit. Some of you guys, you motherfuckers be crazy. <laughs> Niggas, 40 something years old. Nigga, take, nigga, I'm 40. I'm about to be 47. This nigga about to be 47 years old, getting online every night, worried about a strange NBA player on a junkies panel. Talking about another man every night, talking about what a man is and what a man ain't. Nigga, what the fuck? You up here giving your opinions like that on a man you don't even know and you think you know what a man is, nigga? <laughs> boy, motherfuckers say the darnest things, boy. A motherfucker will say the, the, the fucking darnest thing. I'm listening to a stupid motherfucker try to sound smart, talking about, hey, now, I'm trying to tell you, the man don't have a job. And he tried to ask me, why do I got a hundred million dollars with a job? Well, here, you know, he don't need to worry about me, you know. But him, he been dipping into his savings. And he don't have no residual income. He has nothing. I'm like, I don't got no residual income. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's been dipping into his savings and I put my pension up online. Like, God, Lee, boy, how far are you going to go? How far are you go? Boy, how jealous are you of me, boy? I just got to know, man. I, I, I ain't never seen no shit like this, boy. You're going to bring about 30 more girls my way. That's all what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you right now. Boy, when the women hear you talking like this, boy, they like, man, okay, that shit. The niggas gonna laugh. You know, the goofy gallery check gang, gonna, they gonna laugh with you, right? But them ladies gonna be thinking like, why is this nigga with all this goddamn money? And they hear what you saying, and they hear what I'm saying, right? And they hear you. Hold me back. And they hear you saying you a hundred million dollar nigga that ain't creating no jobs. You being given a job. You not putting up the budget. Somebody's putting somebody else putting up the budget. You just an employee. In not one scenario, this man had come up here and say he the boss at nothing. We done heard about some weed industry and all that. That's cool. That's great. We already know the prices are dropping on that. It's oversaturated. So that ain't what it used to be. And if you got partners in that, most motherfuckers getting up out of that. It's being taxed up the wazoo. So I asked the brother, passive, in passive income. How much of it do you got? He showed you cars, boxes of money, and liabilities in houses. 
and say he's smart. Come on, man. Stop it. I don't talk about your business, bro. <laughs> Please don't talk about mine. <laughs> this nigga, he don't, he don't have his trademark. He don't have this. He don't have that. God damn, boy. Who is telling you this information? I'm going to tell y'all how obsessed this nigga is with me. He sent me a realtor's name. Yeah, this is my realtor right here. He's checking up on your house. He checking up on my house. Why are you checking up on my house? Yeah, I'm about to buy your house. Uh, you got to get out by the 28th. I got to get out by when? Yeah, you. Yeah, he, I'm about, about that close to buying your house. Oh, okay. I said, well, hey, well, good luck with that, man. <laughs> and so I told him at first, I said, listen, just like everybody else, they understand you obsessed with me. So they just taking your money. I said, how much money you paid this man for this bad information? There ain't no motherfucking bad information. It's on PK panel. I don't want to hear it. I seen the paperwork. I'm getting it. I said, okay. So I said, so this guy told you that my house is available for you to buy? He said, yeah. And, and I'm about a day or two away. Don't worry. You're going to be put out. We're going to have the draw ready. Oh, okay. Good luck with that. <laughs> I, I tried to tell him. So now that it's April, because I was supposed to be out at the end of March, now that it's April, none of their plays seem to work against me. I wonder what they'll do next. I wonder what they'll do next. Yeah, will you come down here and hiss again? How far are you guys willing to go with these fake-ass troll jokes and games y'all playing? Y'all going to send some more crybaby gangsters? <laughs> nigga, we the crybaby gangsters, nigga. Don't let these motherfucking tears fool you, cuz. Try to tell you, cuz. Well, get off in your ass, you crybaby gangsters, nigga. We mound up, nigga. Stay back, fool. Yeah, man. So they'll, they'll flag your page 67 times. And then they'll start running narratives on the internet. Queen will help me get the flags off. They don't give a damn that Queen helped me get the flags off. Oh, shit. Let's run a narrative. Queen, run Kwame Page. She has the password. Nobody asked. Why y'all keep flagging this nigga? This nigga don't use y'all content. This nigga don't. He'll joke with you, nigga, because that's what y'all all y'all doing. But why y'all keep trying to flag this nigga, man? What's wrong with y'all? Y'all can diss it, but can't take it, huh? So I said black folks fuck with white uh black folks harder than white folks. And here it is, uh, a black nigga, a former teammate, a nigga with a hundred million dollars. Instead of him trying to compete with Grant Cardone and buying real estate that Grant Cardone won't, he wanna buy my house that he keeps saying is a piece of shit. <laughs> hey, oh man, hey, listen here, white boy. Hey, listen here, you Oreo cookie. You convicted felon Oreo cookie. This gonna be the first nigga you done ran into, boy. You ain't gonna understand it, right? You're not gonna understand why you gonna lose, but you're gonna lose every time fucking with me, boy. You're not gonna understand why. You just gonna lose every time fucking with me. You actually think you somebody because Ernie Grunfeld and all them white people saved you. You really ain't nothing by yourself, Gil. I keep trying to tell you that, but hey. I ain't going to tell you nothing, Oreo cookie. <laughs> you little Oreo cookie. <laughs> hey, I'm glad they sent a nigga like you after me. Because you're going to prove everything I said. See, I said it wasn't going to be me that's going to prove it. I said, you niggas was going to prove I'm a hell of a nigga. You niggas was going to prove how this white boy system got you niggas talking about other niggas so much that you don't know what else to do. That's the only reason why they ever talk to this dude is to drag him out so he can say something stupid about people he wants been around. And once you start getting paid for shit like that, you don't care what you say. You don't care if you tell him the truth. You don't give a fuck how much you lie. So when I came back out hitting back and them body shot, bim, bim, bim. I got all them celebrity blue check niggas on notice, not to mention my motherfucking name. 
except this little jackass because he don't have no good career. He don't have no good nothing. He's a defamed felon. So he can get down in the mud. He can lie on your name. See, but I'm going to expose an Oreo cookie like that. A bitch had backseat baby with no soul. Every nigga in America going to see how stupid you is, you dumbass little boy. You don't own no land. You stay out there in California and somebody tricked your dumb ass into buying a liability that you done put shit in it that you ain't going to be able to sell for no profit because you's a fucking dummy. The same way you did with that house in D.C. Put all them upgrades in it that nobody else motherfucking wanted. So you're going to lose out every time because you're a dummy. But I got a challenge for you, fake-ass goddamn celebrity. Let's see who buy more land by the end of 2024. Let's see who have more buildings that we're making money out of, out of instead of you arguing on this goddamn internet like a little bitch. Since you say you got $100 million, I suggest you start putting about a 20 to $10 million down payment on something that costs $100 million. If you got a hundred million dollars, you should be able to put twenty million dollars down right now and get right in the game and compete with Grant Cardone right now today, bitch ass nigga. Now, since you say I ain't got nothing, let's challenge in that way, you little whore. Ask some of them white men for money to compete with them, nigga. I dare you to buy some motherfucking land, bitch. Fuck land that you grow, you growing crops on, growing motherfucking marijuana on, bitch. I'm talking about land that you put some buildings on and have residual income on. Passive income. That way you ain't got to take every job they offer you to talk about niggas, you whore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way you can turn down some jobs. That way you don't have to dress up like a brand new bitch. Why don't we challenge each other in that way so I don't have to beat your ass? Why don't we do that? And if you win that game, well, we all still win because I got you competing with white boys like you should be, you little whore, and not niggas. But if it make you think that you're competing with me, I'll put myself in front of the white boy. And i say, you ain't shit. Compete with me in, in real estate. I want to see you turn some property into residual income, whether it be Airbnb or whatever else you got. Right now, I don't think you got shit, but whatever them white boys pay you. And that would be a damn shame that all this talking you doing and the white boys can shut your lights out at any given fucking moment. Can't no white boy come in my property, you bitch ass nigga. And you can't either. <laughs> That's why I'm a hell of a nigga. Can't no white boy come on my property because no trespassing go for them and no trespassing go for you too. You son of a bitch. Now, Instead of you want to sneak and kick her all goddamn day, let's put that goddamn white boy money where your mouth at and let's compete with the white boy. I'm going to make you compete with white boys, nigga. Come on, nigga. Let's go get some land in Florida. Let's go get an apartment building or two. Come on, you little bitch. Let's see if you buy anything but talk. I think you just about talk. Them white boys will take their money back from you. You start buying land. <laughs> hold on now. Hold on now, silly. We'll give you the check. Don't you go out there and try to create no check. Who you say you're going to give a job? What do you mean you're going to put this building in your daughter's name? Oh, hell no. That got to go to us. Bitch ass nigga, you. A nigga like you can't fuck with a nigga like me, boy. I keep trying to tell you that. You a dummy. The only thing you want to do is snicker and kicker and make jokes for someone else's approval, nigga. You fucking with a nigga that don't need nobody else's approval. So none of the jokes don't land because I don't understand them. I got to first understand your jokes and accept them as jokes for them to get for me to give a fuck about. Them. And I just think you too dumb to worry about what the fuck you saying. Because you don't got no goddamn buildings like them white boys. You dumb. I sold more buildings than you. Why you worried about my residual income, you little bitch ass whore? I sold more buildings than you. See, we're going to have a show and tell soon, me and you, you little dumb fuck.
and I'm gonna be playing that song in the background. Show and tell, that's the game we play. We're gonna have a real estate show and tell, nigga. What you done bought, what you done sold. I don't think you've done nothing, nigga. I don't think you ever competed with white boy. I don't think you never showed up at a meeting where you the only nigga and somebody trying to buy what's yours. And then you walk out and say no, because you get a better offer. <laughs> you know you got a better offer a week or two later. I don't think you never held the cards like that, nigga. You ain't never held no cards like that, did you, bitch ass nigga? Huh? Have you ever walked in like that, nigga, where, where you the boss, nigga, they want your shit? You know, this pile of shit they keep showing y'all, huh? I get an offer on this pile of shit once a day. I'm thinking about moving out because I got a movie company that say, hey, 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 leave that shit right there just like it is. We can come in and make it how we want it when it's like that. All you got to do is get the fuck out and we can start shooting movies for however long. Then we'll, we'll put the pile of shit back like you want it or we'll leave it how we had it. It's up to you. See, when you own the land, motherfucker, you get to do what you want with it. <laughs> so, yeah, I might be moving out soon. Yeah, I might be moving out. I'm going to take my motherfucking bed with me, though. But I might be moving motherfucking out soon. Yeah, I might be moving out. Y'all might see this house, you know, this haunted mansion. They might make this motherfucker look like a rundown. He'll have eyes shack. It's already close. The damn show got some potholes. Some, some zombies can fall in and shit already. So if they want to shoot that walking dead scene out this motherfucker, hell yeah, boy. <laughs> just, just cut me the check. <laughs> hey, hey, I'll, I'll be like, I'm going to be sitting in somebody else's house that I'm renting that this shit paying for, this pile of shit paying for. And I'll be like, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, boy, y'all going to the house. And I'm going to be chilling. And then when they done doing all the zombie shit, yo, I still own the asset. And then they might have been done printing it up for me a little bit, too. Yeah, and then while they using it for that, for that zombie apocalypto shit, I might go ahead and tap into the equity there. So that I'll be ready for, you know, going ahead and uh, just cleaning it up how I want. And then I can sell it after that. And then the zombie apocalypse movie will be done paid the money back that they that I borrowed out of the house. Yeah. Hey, Gil, how much insurance you been playing with, too? You, you into the insurance game? You playing with any insurance? Home life? Whole life of term insurance. You, you know anything about that whole life compared to term? You know anything about the insurance game? You need me to teach you that too? <laughs> hey, you want me to you want me to teach you about that too? That you can borrow from your insurance policy after a certain number of years? You you, you know anything about that? Oh, you don't know? Oh, okay. Well, call me, man. You got my number. I can't teach you everything over the internet, man. See, them white boys ain't going to teach you this. Well, some of them will, because that's who that's who I've been watching. You know. That's who I've been watching. <laughs> I told you. I compete with white boys. So I ain't watching no niggas. I'm watching these white boys. I've signed up for every class you can think of, boy. <laughs> Why you niggas think I'm just this laughing, bumbling fool? I'm going to keep you thinking that. I'm mad you got me talking so much. But I kind of like this dumb ass nigga, but this nigga's so dumb. I want to change this stupid motherfucker because them white boys got this nigga using his money for bad. But if we can flip this nigga to get him to use his money for good, you know, he already done bought a motherfucker a cow. What if we get this stupid ass nigga to buy 10,000 cows? You know? That's what got down the rest of it. That's what the white boys doing. If I can turn this Oreo into a goddamn uh, a Fig Newton or something that's all black, I might get this bitch ass nigga to act like he know something. You know? Might get this nigga to act like he black or something. You black out here. Quit warring with niggas, bitch ass nigga.
You know what I mean? I'm trying to teach this bitch ass nigga. You, how come the only adversary you ever see, nigga, is the color black? Who taught you how to think like that, boy? Every nigga you raise your voice at is black, nigga. And me, I raise my voice at anybody that raised their voice at me. That's just the easier way to do it. I can't change him. He gone. Hmm. Yeah, any nigga trying to buy a motherfucker house to for somebody amusement pleasure. This nigga is a dummy. This nigga don't have nothing to offer, man. I'm telling you, this nigga is an idiot. Sitting here talking about what do Kwame got to offer? Nigga, sit any woman round you got and sit her down in front of me long enough. And boy, look at here. She going to tell right away I got way more to offer than your dumb ass. She don't, I can guarantee you one conversation with me and you can have a box of money sitting by you, nigga, and that woman going to get up and leave. That woman going to get up and leave, nigga. She know that box of money can be gone the day or tomorrow, nigga. What I got up in, him, in my head, nigga, ain't going nowhere, though. This, this goddamn grind, this mine ain't going nowhere, bitch ass nigga. That's why I keep trying to tell you, boy. You a dummy. You just want to war with niggas. I'm just like that. I'm gone. Holla. I got to curse a little more for her to stick around. Bitch ass nigga. He has to take his orders. Man, fuck that nigga orders. Whoever sent that nigga ain't going to do nothing but help giving me. They they don't actually understand. The shit that they doing is playing right into what I want them to do. People are going to start asking, why is Gilbert Arenas going this, this hard, this left? Why is he saying all this stuff? This man ain't saying nothing about him like that. He just don't like this nigga. Why he going like this with it? People going to be able to examine that. So I don't know what this nigga thinking. That's why this nigga always singing that sad song. This nigga ain't got no money. That nigga ain't got no money. Boy. Boy, stop. I get my dog on dog some bike training. She over here biting on sticks outside. God, dog, I gotta take her to the doggone trainer again. Damn. Do y'all dog bite on sticks and shit? Because I'm starting to think this dog crazy. I don't think dogs supposed to be biting on sticks and shit. He seem to be taking cues from Uncle Sweetener. Man, you can you can mash all them bitch ass niggas together and they still can't fuck with me. That's why they all together. I don't even get this shit. I don't know what I did. Them niggas always talking about fight your own battles, fight your own battles. And then one nigga get all his edits from the same nigga that's fucking with me every day. Why he can't fight his own battle? This motherfucker got a whole team of people to talk to help him act uh, what what? <laughs> Get revenge? I don't know what this nigga doing at this point. He got people that's helping him come at me. So now their new thing was they supposed to be flying drones over my house to see if I sold my cars to pay my taxes. <laughs> that's what I heard a nigga say. Oh, man, that's hilarious. <clears throat> man. Why do a but why do one bus get this much attention? I thought I was just a bus, man. I thought I was just a little old bus, dog. What's all this attention for, man? You know, I'm really a shy person.
I'm really a shy person for real. Dog biting shit sticks. Ask Google. <laughs> hey, what 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 the hell Google say? Shit, that dog crazy. That dog chewing on the goddamn sticks on the ground. Like for real chewing. Like she tried to shake the damn tree branch. I'm like, what the fuck? Why are they so vested in Kwame? Because <laughs> I'm telling people to buy land. I'm telling niggas to stop arguing and fighting with niggas every day. I'm exposing the media that Stephen A. Smith and all these clowns, all they do is talk about black folk. I expose the fact that a white man could slap his wife right on camera and not get canceled, still go about his day and do business. But then if a black man uh, do the exact same thing, that black man is marked for death. He is marked to be canceled from the world. And then our women joined right along with it. Uh, but there's not one group of white women that jumped up and said, you know what, Dana White can't work in America. He's still doing UFC fights. He has a slap lead. It's, it's business as usual for the white man because they're not going to take them out of positions of power. So once again, we can see that anything that's formed is formed to go at the black male, to keep the black male in a certain position. To a, a, a certain uh, economic and social status that we have to continue to stay at. And I just break the barrier to that shit. I'm a black motherfucker that done made a lot of goddamn money, that done had a lot of money stole, and I was still smart enough to keep assets and be able to use my assets to still not have a job. And I'm still got the unmitigated goal to come out here and tell every athlete that they on, they on the docket, they next. Even that idiot that's doing all this talking, uh, somebody was put in place to take some money from him. Allegedly, I think I snapped. So it's happening to all of these players. So unless they take their money out of the stock market and start buying tangible items, I don't want to hear these niggas crying when it comes time for them to be done playing. And when they realize they don't have the money that they think they have, because like Billy Hunter's son used to say, Who's watching your money? Who has your money? He used to say that shit all the time, and people would take him as a joke. I used to take him as a joke. Everybody thinks that they have the best of the best financial advisors because you do. On paper, you do. You can look up their LinkedIn. You can look up everything about them. They're the greatest people in the world. But it's just something about these great people that somehow they always seem to lose, drop, or mislead money. And I was just, I, you know, it's just something that seems to always happen. But the one thing that my grandparents and great grandparents and my great grandmother and all the women in my family, they would always say, buy land. They ain't making no more land. They, they don't make no more land. And the one thing, and the more and the more and more and more and more I get educated about the land and infrastructure and putting buildings on the land, I'm like, wow, this is the key. This is the reason why they keep black folks away from their hoods and keep them away from people in the neighborhoods because people in the neighborhoods understand that you guys are the bank now. You have the money. No more crying. You got the money now. You're the money to come back and do whatever you need to do in your neighborhoods. If you say you love this neighborhood, buy it. It's for sale. You don't like your landlord? You got an athlete from your city? All the athletes should be getting together that's from the same city and buying that bitch. It's for sale. It really is literally for sale. And they don't like me talking like that because they know how easy it is for them to be able to do it. I can, You can go down the salaries of these teams and look at how much money they're giving away now. They're giving away $30 million a year to players that are just average players if, if you play in the old school rule. They're getting 30 and 20 and $15 million a year. And quiet is kept some of these niggas don't own nothing some of these niggas don't even own the house they live in they still got a mortgage on the motherfucker because a financial advisor told them to get a 30-year mortgage this is the most money they're gonna ever make but somebody told them to pay it off in 30 fucking years instead of paying it off right now when they got the money for it because that's what somebody told me too 
until I stopped listening to what somebody told me. That's when I started unlocking my own brain and learning. Oh, this shit is a weak ass, easy ass game. These niggas making. Do you know how much money your average athlete got going into the stock market every year or every month? These people are playing stock market games with these people money and these players don't know absolutely nothing about the stock market. All they're doing is entrusting that somebody's going to do right by them. That's all they're doing. But if somebody was to tell these athletes that, look, you don't even need me, bro. You go down and put 20% down on a building or a house or whatever else. You have the money to do it. You should have a personal relationship with the bank with the type of residual income that you have coming in. You can get any deal done by yourself. All you need is a good real estate attorney. And these niggas can literally buy America. You motherfuckers talking about Black Wall Street. These football and basketball players and rappers can literally buy America. But they teach them niggas to shoot at each other. They teach the athletes to fuck each other women. They argue about that shit. They teach everybody to just be divided. And let's everybody click up and let's see who tougher at the end of the day. But see, I said I compete with white boys. And so you let not none of you niggas get in my way to compete with no white boy. I'm not gonna understand that. You niggas better stay the fuck out my way while I'm competing with white boys now. I'm not gonna understand. You can say what you want, but you niggas better stay the fuck out my way while I'm competing with these white boys now. That's all I'm gonna tell you. You niggas talking all this goddamn talk on this internet. You motherfuckers saying this and saying that. Oh, he's stupid. I guarantee you motherfuckers won't say none of the family's stupid that Bernie Madoff stole from. People get stolen from every day, B. You ain't gonna, you ain't around here talking to the people that got stolen from, they whole life saving stolen from them by that, that crazy motherfucker Bernie Madoff. So no, nigga, I ain't gonna take no strike against me, nigga, from being stole from. You got me fucked up. Nigga, that shit made a, me a hell of a nigga. Now I know what exactly what to do and what I need to be doing. And I'm doing it. Passive income. <laughs> Passive income. This nigga talking about weed money that getting taxed a gazillion times. Talking about some shit, nigga, that ain't no tax, nigga. And you can get money up out of it. There's so many ways to get money out of an asset, boy. You can leverage your asset. You can borrow against an asset. You just got cash. Wow. Wow. Stop it, boy. You not on my level, man. Go get you a white boy and tell the white man to come now because he realized that you dumb and I don't realize you dumb. None of your jokes going to work against me, nigga. Yeah, me and you ain't the same, nigga. I try not to give them too much free game because I had to earn this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to take my lumps and I had to earn this shit. I had to earn this game that I know. I had to go sign up for the 10X class. I had to hurt. I had to earn this shit, man. And I'm giving this shit to your dumb ass and you steady want to argue with me, boy. That white boy sitting next to you hoping you don't hear this shit, hoping you steady want to make a troll joke. Because if you do got $100 million like you say you do, then I still got to ask you again, nigga. Why the fuck do you have a job? A hundred million dollars with these deals the way they was two years ago, and you got a hundred million dollars, and you don't you didn't buy seven or eight apartment buildings by now, nigga. You didn't go to you didn't go to St. Louis where they got them four and them six plexes. That's right across the street from the other side of the street because St. Louis is a little bit segregated. Damn, it seemed like right across the street, everything done and nice. 
and then across the street, everything run down. But they got big brick buildings in St. Louis, nigga. You give a little love to, and you can have them bitches back up and running like it ain't nothing. You mean to tell me you ain't put no money in that shit, nigga? You don't own 137 buildings right now with your name on it. With a hundred million dollars. Man, if you don't get the fuck out of my face, nigga. <laughs> Man, you if you don't get the fuck out of my goddamn face, nigga. <laughs> you speaking on me, nigga. And saying you got a hundred million dollars and you up here bragging the motherfucking folks about how many goddamn jobs you taking and not how many jobs you giving. Yeah, we the different type of nigga, man. <laughs> yeah, we, we we different. I told you, you, you a different type of nigga. They, I see why they like your type. Yeah, I really do. I actually see now. Listen, the more you talk, boy, See, I thought it was just a, I thought you was a little, just a little prick, a little dumb some bitch. But now I see exactly why they like your type. Why don't you shout out DJ Envy? I don't like DJ Envy. DJ Envy sent up there and put his fingers in bunkies on TV for kids to see. So while you in my chat telling me what to do, nigga, you go do it. I ain't seen Grant Cardone put no fingers in no bunky for kids to see. And just because you racist, motherfucker, that don't mean I got to be racist. I was talking about accomplishment. I said he got 2.1 or 2.2 billion in real estate. That sounds like some wealthy shit. Now, last time I checked, DJ Envy wasn't in that conversation. So you want me to do something just because he black. And I don't just do shit just because nobody nothing. We're talking about accomplishments, nigga. We got athletes that can compete with Grant Cardone. Have you not noticed? We got athletes that got $300 million contract. We got black men with hundreds and two hundred million dollar contract. If these niggas will stop shaking their ass in strip clubs and shit, stop being with rappers and doing all this dumb shit, all of these niggas can come together and join little pockets of hex funds. Don't just get together because y'all like strippers and strip clubs. Shit, all y'all niggas talk about putting a, a couple of million dollars in the kitty and going to buy up some shit together. And now y'all really bosses. If y'all really fuck with each other like that. You're just an LLC away. It's just a just some paperwork and a real estate attorney away. Make some goddamn money together. Don't don't goddamn sit up here and tell Kwame Brown what to say. Go tell them goddamn rappers to get together other than goddamn taking pictures and making songs and make some goddamn real estate deals together. The hell is you talking about? Y'all niggas always want to find some shit to complain or argue about, nigga. Do you not understand what I'm really saying, nigga? And if you don't, then don't. But don't come over here with all that goddamn bullshit, man. You can't make me like DJ Envy. This nigga stick fingers in bunkies, nigga. I don't like that nigga. I don't give a fuck how much real estate he buy. I'm confused. A married man playing around, sticking fingers in bunkies and shit on camera for kids to see. Nah. Not my type of example I want my son to see. Now, nigga, you go and talk about DJ Envy on your page. That's what I'm talking about. Mayweather owns skyscrapers in New York. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. That's why he be laughing. Talking about, hey, we'll still take away from him for that. Oh, he can't read. That motherfucker can count. <laughs> shit <laughs> he done pay somebody to read if he owns skyscrapers if he owns skyscrapers in new york shit a black man that's what the fuck i'm talking about all right now now i hope you black talking about you thought this was black boy magic let me show you something 
the fuck you you don't even know what black boy magic is trying to take some shit you heard and then tell me what you thought now i blocked you so now go tell everybody it ain't black boy magic fuck you talking about Niggas always trying to tell somebody else how to and why to do something. Nigga, it's black boy magic to tell black boys stop competing with black boys and start having a healthy competition with white boys. They're the ones so-called running the country. So why the fuck you keep looking at each other? Each other, we, it ain't shit. It's easy to come at another nigga. Let's compete with what's really right. Let's go get some goddamn land. If our ancestors owned the land and it was stolen from us and all this other shit they say in the history books, then why niggas keep showing you their cars they bought instead of showing you the land they buying back? Because it is for sale. If your ancestors owned this motherfucker, let's buy it back. I mean, that just sounds better to me. You don't have to agree. You don't have to agree. You don't have to agree. I just think that's a better option than to keep watching these niggas do the same thing over and over again. Get some women pregnant that don't understand no vision because I've done it. Get some women pre pregnant that's going to take away from you instead of adding to you. That's going to get emotional and, and attack the bag instead of helping you build the bag no matter what the situation is. They do the same thing over and over again. I don't fuck with nobody that don't got a purpose no more. I don't give a fuck what we got going on. You got to have purpose in that. Even in my mistakes, there's purpose. Ain't no more tan down the house of cars. You're going to respect me like they respect them white boy. Dana White absolutely made a mistake. Didn't nobody tear down his whole house. His house is still standing. He's still moving and making business. Same way we got to start doing in our community. We ain't on no cold. We on cold or disaster. Anytime a man make a mistake in our community, his life is over. We got to stop that. Kwame Brown, I don't agree with you. Time to drink. <laughs> hey, I don't like messages like that. Talk about KB, be well, KB and all that shit. Nigga, this sound like you counting me out. And that's the one thing you better not do. Nigga, you better bet old black. Fuck you talking about. Don't, don't send me them uh, uh, wish me well, wishes like I'm gone or something. Nigga, I'm right here. I'm tangible. I'm present. No, sir. Man, no offense. But, yeah. Don't send, don't send me them wish me well, send off messages. Hell to the now. I'm not here to be nobody messiah, no martyr. I'm not dying for you. None of that. Nigga, I'm just giving you some game. It's up to you to apply it. Oh, listen, I thought you were going to build. I thought you thought what? Motherfucker, when I came out that cheese line, I came out because of my pain, my passion, my drive, my struggle. And that's what I, I inspire people to do. Nigga, use your pain, your passion, your struggle to do something different, to be better than yourself, to be better than what you thought you could ever be. But I ain't going to do the work for you. I don't know who told you that shit. That's why I don't like nobody speaking for me. Because I'm not the guy that's going to do the work for you. <laughs> you won't die for me time to say, hell no, I don't even know you. <laughs> People got to start telling the truth, man. Motherfucker, motherfucker think they got a Messiah coming for them. Man, shit. Oh, motherfucker, you better be a fly on the wall when these niggas doing their contracts and doing their conversation. They don't mention you. <laughs> shit that motherfucker don't mention you so i'm not gonna pretend like i'm mentioning you i fuck with everybody but at the end of the day everybody is supposed to be pulling for their kids their family their kinsmen that's how life works and then you reach outward but there's so many motherfuckers faking like they reach outward so good that like that shit be corny to me that shit be corny motherfuckers on tv crying for absolute strangers man you ain't living like that I know you hate your neighbor then. You crying for motherfuckers on TV for real. Get the fuck out of here.
Get the fuck out of here. Hey! Get your little ass. Oh, that's why you acting like that. It's about to rain. I'm about to have to go let her ass back in the dang old house. Well, the garage is open. It's about to rain. Damn, it's about to rain again? All it do is rain now. Shit. Uh, thank you, Kwame. Listening makes me appreciate my daddy uh, and all he went through to hold on to the, them forty-five acres. Man, you out of man. Look at here. If that, if your daddy had forty-five, uh, got, got forty-five acres or had, I don't know. You said had, but if your daddy held on to forty-five acres, <laughs> look here. That was one of the hardest fights you ever known. <laughs> But it was people playing with him. They were waiting every year on the taxes. They tried to rezone it. They tried to do anything. I'm telling you. That's probably one of the hardest fights he ever had. Today is Monday. Time to drink. And, you know, I don't be trying to offend nobody. You know what I mean? It just, I understand the brainwashing that they taught us. Like, even my nephews and shit, now they starting to come around. They starting to buy little small properties because they never thought, and you don't know, I don't want to come off as this, I got it all figured out. Nigga, I went through some shit, so I'm figuring it out. So I tell the message that I know is right because of the things that I done went through. And, you know, these things are re recession proof. You know, land and, and property and things of that nature. It, it was people borrowing money off of their land and their buildings that they owned during the recession. Millions and millions of dollars. So it's recession proof. So uh, it just, it irks me to see that our whole community is so uh, uh, in love with stuff. You know, we'll have a nigga pick on another man that owns something outright and and act like that's less, that's less of value than a car that he has that looks nice, that's depreciated. You know, that's the mentality that we have. He ride around in an old truck, so he broke. Man, I know a motherfucking uh, white guy with a Prius. Baron Davis drive a Prius, and, he, and, and he's definitely not broke. You know, so it's just our culture, our generations of people are, have been taught to flash too much. They don't show you no business. They don't show you what they do to get that money. You know, Stephen A. Smith was up there crying when uh, the dude said he destroyed sports media. I'm going to talk about that on my other channel. But I believe Stephen A. destroyed sports media as well. But it was an ugly truth that Stephen A. Smith, a college grad, even showed you. So all this educated talk, he's a college grad. The man said he was making $1.6 or $1.2 million a year. And when he got fired, he said he was 40-something years old or 41 years old. And for the first time in his life, he thought that he was going to be broke again like he was prior to, you know, reaching and going through all that grind. And I thought to myself, I said, hmm, here it is, a college educated black man. And he has nothing outside of his job. Nothing. One, you're making a million dollars a year. I, man, listen, I don't understand that. Like now, knowing what I know now, and just, and, and just, it's a lot of these athletes like that too. They make a, they make millions of dollars and have nothing that they own. They like going to the club, but they don't even own a club. I didn't. I love going out, but I never thought, why am I going out so much? I need to go buy a building and just create my own club. And whoever come in, they come in. That's cool, but I like to turn up. Let me control the environment. Let me make sure I know that the security at the door is a is 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 cool with me and not trying to let some street cat in. You know, let me make sure, let me make sure I can control the environment that I'm in so I can keep making this money. Appreciate you. But I, I didn't think like that then either. But just think about it. Stephen A. Smith was making over a million dollars. I don't know who you are. Some people could say that's a little bit of money. Some people say that's a lot of money. 
I think it's enough money to create something outside of your paycheck. And that's what people got to be thinking about. I don't care what level you are. You got to be thinking about creating something that creates income outside of your original paycheck. In the hood, it used to, man, them women used to be hustlers, man. They'll cook some dinners and sell dinner plates for $10, $12, $15 dinner plate. They'll sell fish sandwiches. People would, people had all kind of ways to make money outside of just working their job. Why, why we stopped doing that? It seemed like we just stopped working now. It seemed like what's fly and flashy is the only thing niggas want to do. If it ain't fly and flashy, it's lame. Niggas don't want to cut grass. Niggas don't want to work no more. Nigga, I fry fish, chicken, all that. I learned that from my uncle. Nigga, we go get that smoker out. I guarantee you, I put that smoker together and get that thing cracking. I guarantee you, I'm going to make me some money because you're going to smell that smoker and you're going to pay me something for it because it ain't free. What do niggas know how to do now? So the fact that Stephen A. Smith, a college graduate, as soon as he had he got fired, he had nothing to fall back on. So if all of them are listening to anything I say, fuck the jokes. Nigga, get something to fall back on. Get something outside of your job. Don't let somebody work you to the point where you can't have something for yourself. This man is literally, literally being worked to the point where he's going to have nothing for himself. He's going to have cash to give away to his kids or whatever, but you're not going to have a building or two. You're not going to have nothing to pass down to your kids to say, I built that. And yeah, that's why people make money in New York and take it down south. I, can, I wouldn't give a damn where you make your money. If you make $1.6 million, you could take your money to Atlanta. You take your money to one of these rural, uh, rural, rural, however you say the word, rural, Georgia towns. Y'all know what the fuck I'm saying. But you take your money down there to one of these little small air towns and you get you a couple little pieces of property, get you a couple houses. We ain't talking about starting off crazy. Get you a property manager. Get you a little piece of prop, keep, keep a little residual income coming in. Make it one, two, three, or, or 10, 15. And then now you start to see your portfolio grow. Now you got something you can work with. You can leverage that, sell it all, combine it, and turn it into one apartment bill. Now you got something to work with. But you got to have something outside of motherfucking your regular job, don't you think? He don't need anything, Kwame. That will be his karma. But he will. Uh, but will. But we will all know he watches you like a hawk. So I guarantee he will start investing in something now. He need to. Because it ain't about this dummy. It's about his kid. You know, it'd be a damn shame. He can't pass down his gift. We don't know how good a man kid is gonna be. But they don't have to be as good if the if the father stay in the right element, in the right mind. They don't have to be as good. Niggas start buying some properties that you can give to your children, some residual income that they can manage. You teach them how to manage it. There's a bunch of things you could do. But don't have no $100 million. You sitting here, the only thing that you think you to be doing is you showing everybody that you got more than another nigga. whip you do <laughs> But you still dumb. If you ask me, you dumb. I'm going to have, I, to me, I got more than you. In my opinion. I do more. I go more places. I have better experiences because I'm not worried about nobody else. Can't nobody like you have no fun or live a good life. You keep worried about another nigga trying to tell other people what a nigga do and don't got. I'm not doing that, nigga. I'm trying to help you goddamn get your goddamn shit together, nigga. You ain't got your shit together. You think you do. If we have a paperwork party, nigga, I own everything. Now, I ain't talking about if the bank say, if the bank say, look, 
fuck that. I'm going bad on your note on your house. Do you own your house outright? Now that'd be a shame if you got it like a two, three million dollar, four million dollar house and you don't own it outright. What you paying a note for? Why are you paying a note? I'm just saying. <laughs> Man, my boy told me I told you the rain was coming. <laughs> He's, he's damn sure raining. I'm just saying. Niggas always want a fat mouth against other niggas, man. That's what I don't be getting. When I hear certain niggas talk, man, they just turn my stomach. Because, like, you, nigga, you ain't joking. You really think you like that. Like, you really done adopted this mentality like, like you like that because you got money, right? Everybody got money. Focus on yourself first. Warranty deed is everything. Yes, yes. Yeah, man. This bitch ass nigga, man. Listen. But I got some people I'm talking to. We're going to move around. We're going to move around in stealth mode on a small scale. We're going to hide. We're going to hide everything we do. And we're just going to move around. And it, we ain't even, it ain't even no crew of millionaires. I'm going to show you how uh, some thousandaires can get together and do a better job than dumbass millionaires that just want to talk about pussy and twerking and, and strip clubs all day. Like they got a bad boys club and show money in boxes. We're going to show you how to move. Yeah, we're going to show you how to move strategic and, and, and quiet. <laughs> Making a whole fool of himself. Oh, and I apologize in our energy. Uh, ears told me. I didn't go repeat that shit, but Ears told me what was up, so I apologize. And I'm sorry. And I apologize. More importantly, I'm sorry. And if I offended you in any way, uh, I'm sorry. And uh, before I go, I want you to really sincerely know that that I apologize. <laughs> hey, for some, for some, it's only a matter of time for blessings. Got to watch the chat plus personal text. Yeah, man. Hey, listen, man. Them niggas trying to dissect me. I hope that boy listened though, man. Instead of goddamn, that shit's sad that a motherfucker make a hundred million dollars and he got a double dutch like that and dance and, and make me his enemy and think, never mind, man, never mind. I, I, I just think this boy lost. I just think he lost, in my opinion. I think he lost. If you had to ask me who lost, that son of a bitch, they're lost, nigga. I don't want no deal, nigga. I am the deal. And, man, you need to come on my panel I need, man, the next time you go live, I'm coming on your panel. Uh, I'm going to blow your little channel up because I know you're scared to come to my channel. The next time you go live, I'm coming on your channel. No, I ain't going to come on your channel because I still got to play with you right now. I still got to play because you said something you weren't supposed to say. So I ain't going to act like we cool. So, yeah, I still got to play. Depending on how you act a couple of days from now, I'll let you know what the play going to be. Because <laughs> you shouldn't say what you said, nigga. <laughs> but you need to explain that shit to my about this job situation and why I need a job. You got to be the dumbest motherfucker in the world. I didn't explain the multiple ways that I, I don't need a job, you jackass. I done said I got a strong truck that's paid for and I got a car hauler too. Wouldn't that be a job, uh, uh, buddy? If I was to pull cars with my truck and my trailer, wouldn't that be a job? But that, that ain't working for nobody. That's me creating the job myself, right? See, the only way somebody done trained you that you can make money is that you go sign on the dotted line for somebody else to take the risk. And then you get the job from them. You get a check from them. That's the only way you've been taught. So I've told you several ways to make some money. 
you the only person that believe I don't have nothing. That man, that man still trying to bully you a sign with him shaking my head. He can't bully me. I own land. I keep telling this nigga the simple things. I own land. His liability looks better than my liability right now. That's, that's what he wants to make highlight, that his liability looks better than mine. What about your property that's making you money? How that look? You want to do that? You want to put up your property that's making you money compared to mine and see how it look? Because we could do that now. Since you say I don't got nothing. And <laughs> hey, we ain't talking about your weed farm. We talk about how many buildings. How about you? How much you own? What you own, nigga? We ain't talking about bank owned either, nigga. We ain't talking about you own. You a you probably one of them bank owned niggas. The bank own you just like the white boy own you. <laughs> you a bank owned white boy own. You you sound, but you do. You know what though? You really do be sounding smart to niggas that that that's flashy and shit. Look at that old ass truck he riding in. That truck paid for a nigga. The truck got a strong rear end. She got a big old ass. I'm telling you, boy. She's so fat back there. <laughs> so everybody else understand what I'm saying when I'm saying it because this truck is one of the top echelon Denali's. See, this is like the creme de la creme if you're in the trucks. But if you're not in the trucks, then you, you're not in the know. But, you know, a truck guy understands it's either a Denali, a Ford, or a Ram. You know. No, oh, no, we got to add in that Z71. Some of those guys like that Chevy, that Z71. But, you know, if you're a truck guy, boy, then you know this is a badass truck. If you're not a truck guy, you, you know, you'll highlight stupid shit. But you probably one of them bank owned niggas. See, I is a free nigga. <laughs> free and in the clear nigga. You ever thought about that? How is this nigga free and in the clear after all that there? See, I wasn't like you, dummy. Ain't nowhere in the hell I'm finna retire and owe something to nothing. How the fuck I done tore up my ankle and did all this shit and I'm supposed to retire on? Uh -uh, I ain't gonna retire on a motherfucking bird. person shit. No, 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 no. So as I watch people retire, then go broke after a couple of years, and then the house that they paid for or they thought they were paying for, they were paying a note on, and they still had the note after their residual income stopped. And so they, the bank took their house and took their truck and took everything else. I said, oh, hell to the note. 97 Tahoe. Chevy is king. Just like you owe taxes. That's what they say. But if I owe taxes on this house, I owe taxes every year, first of all. I don't know what, what this is supposed to be so secret. I owe taxes every year. If you own anything, you owe taxes. I own taxes in different states. Uh, but uh, if I still owe taxes on my house, I was supposed to be gone by the end of the month. So apparently, uh, whatever said tax issue, it must be gone. Because I ain't gone. Motherfucker, <laughs> 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 well, you owe taxes. Uh, yeah. I dread that bill every year. Oh, all my shit. Fuck you talking about. I'd be like, oh, fuck. Fucking tax. Damn it. 
I didn't even know what you niggas was talking about. I'm like, I already going to, I know I'm going to pay the penalty. It's already set and dry. Uh, but you know. No, no, no. They can say I owe taxes. They, they're they going to go look up any document about me because they're trying to find some cap in my rap. So they're going to go, what, the only power that they think they have is going to look up documents. And you're going to be able to find those documents every year. Every year I'm going to owe taxes. <laughs> <laughs> ah. and then sometimes i pay the penalty i don't pay it for two years and then i just pay the penalty the penalty that i pay and the money that i make in between those penalties you know it just make business sense to me i pay the penalties though i take the i take the uh i gotta stop doing that though because it messes with your credit too much But, you know, but I just don't understand why y'all ain't had a drone party of me being escorted off my property. I mean, that was supposed to happen. Now y'all just keep, that's sad that y'all just got to keep saying the same shit now. Oh, but, uh, uh, at what time you owe, uh, taxes? At what time you owe taxes? No, y'all said y'all were going to fly the drone across my house. Y'all were going to put me out, and y'all going to watch them throwing this shit on the street. You know, I was waiting to see. The one couch, y'all said there was only one couch in the dog cage, you know. So I was like, damn, I got to take my, I got I to gotta take my, my motherfucking dog cage and my all kind of shit up out of here. Damn. Damn. It's crazy, B. Any thoughts on the LSU uh, women's basketball win? Oh, congratulations, LSU. Uh, I didn't get to see it. Uh, some runts had them punch me in the lip and uh, made me go to sleep. Some little old short joker that we used to, we call him a runt. And he punched me in the lip. I couldn't really talk. I fell asleep eating my Sunday dinner. Yeah, I fell asleep eating Sunday dinner. So I don't think I like them no more. Mm -mm. Sadly, you voluntarily comply and pay your taxes. I ain't volunteering shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding out what Greg Cardone doing to brag about not paying taxes on camera without going to jail. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I said, hold on, this, this, hold on, hold on, hold on now. I said, this white boy looks strong. This white boy said, shit, I ain't paying no taxes. He said this shit on camera. I said, damn, he ain't locked up. So shit, I signed up for a course of two shit. <laughs> I signed up right away. I said, okay. This type of nigga I need to be talking to. He ain't in jail. This nigga said he's not gonna pay taxes and he ain't get locked up. I said, oh man, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, I gotta talk to him. <laughs> then you learn certain things and you learn certain key words. Passive income. What the fuck is that? How come they ain't never say nothing about this in school? Why don't they teach this in school? I've never heard this term, passive income. What does it mean? What are the advantages? What does it allow you to do? Passive income. It's a flow, it's a stream of income, money, revenue that is untaxed by the government. I said, holy shit. <laughs> holy moly donut shop. I said, I think I love this white guy. What the fuck? I said, man, you mean to tell me he he out here selling this and teaching this in a class? Oh, man. He teaching this shit in a class? Oh, man, okay. I think it's time for me to go back to school. Hold on, TV on. Hold on, y'all.
Hold on, y'all. All right, I got to go to floor decor. I hope y'all can't hear that damn music still. I really hope y'all can't hear that music. All right. Let me roll up, and then I got to go to floor decor, y'all. I got the game plan down. I couldn't let y'all hear the game plan. I apologize, and I'm sorry. I apologize and I'm sorry. I got some people game planning some things. So I wanted to make sure that the game planning things was game planned. And they are. And they are. Oh, so it wasn't no music? Okay, cool. Good, 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 good. And if he can, he's sorry, and he apologize. Please grab me a piece of cardboard. Man, I got to go to floor decor. I got to get some tile. I got to get some grout. And I get some more uh, sealer. So yeah, this is gonna be a fun day to jump in and out in the rain. Oh no, they, I ain't gonna tell them the game plan. I'm just telling y'all what I gotta go get. I gotta get some towel. Yeah, I gotta get some towel. I got one thing that's about completely done that I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to talk about. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. You let these niggas tell it. I start everything. Oh, he want to get personal. He want to get personal. Nigga, ain't nobody get personal with you, nigga. I said something about you, nigga, bras and things like that. Nigga, everybody broad get out of pocket. What you nigga so mad about? Yeah, what you think is so mad about? Everybody, everybody, bro, get out of pocket. You found out about Florida Court last year? Shit. Nigga, act like they the best niggas in the world at everything. Shit, I told y'all. I don't know if I told y'all this story. I thought I did. And y'all could ask them. Kenyon Martin was in the club with me in California. That same baby mama that them niggas talking about all this other shit like she's some victim. She slapped me in the club in front of Kenya Martin. In front of everybody. Shit, she seen some girl. She went to the bathroom and you know how them girls do. Just like the niggas do. The girls do the same thing the niggas do. Shit. I didn't slap her when she came back from the bathroom when I know the game. Niggas gonna pull on you. They gonna tug on you. They gonna try to holler at you. 
and it's up to you. Shake that shit off. So she had, she come back and a, a girl was doing the same thing that was happening to her on the way to the bathroom. She trying to holler. So instead of her handling the situation the right way, she slapped the shit out of me. Bow! I looked. I said, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, our relationship gonna change. Because that's a no-no. You've lost your goddamn mind. Because see, the thing about that, when people do stuff like that, they put you in a situation. That take away from a man either way it go. To have a woman around you that's stupid enough to slap you, especially slap you in public. And then what if I would slap the ass back? Now I'd have been taken away from that way. But from a business standpoint, it, it takes away from me because it looked like you can't handle your business. So, yeah, that's going. I told her, I said, this going to change our relationship. And it did. And did. <laughs> yeah, and did. Yeah, I went to seeking then. <laughs> I wasn't no cheater until that point. <laughs> yeah, you put your hands on me. Yeah, I feel like cheating. Yeah, because I got to go back out here and search. You, you definitely ain't the one. You put your hands on me. You not the one. Yeah, that was in public, you know. Did you know lost your mind? Because if I would have hit you back, it took all the way away from me, and it took nothing away from you. So I look at you as a domestic terrorist. Because you can't whip me, so you just want somebody to see something. So, yeah, she a domestic terrorist. I'm out. And that's how you niggas got to think. See, I could pay anybody bills. Yeah, I could pay anybody motherfucking bills. You niggas just picking girls because her sex and all this other dumb shit. I don't need, I can get sex from anywhere. I need somebody that understands me. I need somebody to understand. That's That That right there is going to take away from me, baby. And that right there I don't need nothing to do with. Because if I hit your ass back, you're going to turn into a woman then. So, yeah. Ever since then, I was done messing with little girls. I started messing with grown-ups. Yeah, so yeah, I told that story. You, but you notice that now one of my stories that I ever told, the other, they go get the person that I said something about. Now, now I don't know if, uh, I don't know, if, I'm not saying Kenyon remember that or not. But I know one thing, Kenyon is a grown ass man. He would not be scared to say nothing. Everybody know that about Kenyon. And, and so not one time the real guys, the real men that I mentioned their name, do they go ask them men and those men speak up against me? They never do, because I don't do nothing but tell the truth. No, I ain't called 911. I walked off like I'm supposed to. I pow, I said, bitch, I said, what? I said, hey, I said, look, you tripping. I did just like that. You tripping. Walked off because you tripping. Because like I say, any man that got to deal with that situation, it's going to take away from him. It's not going to add to him. All the way around the board. Because there was no difference from what happened with her. Because I am I know how the club works. If you're an attractive woman, when you go into the bathroom, niggas going to try to holler. And vice versa. Shit, no, they don't got to jump in the air. Y'all keep thinking that tall shit means something. Boy, this chin done been tapped so many times. It's short. Niggas done hit this chin and they they regretted it, though. <laughs> short women done hit this chin. You can't do that when the short women hit you. You just got to let them know that, look, I'm making a decision. I make them all understand. Look, I'm making a decision not to fuck you up. Just know I could fuck you up if I get out of control. Don't think you can win this fight. You know, I can take my hit and walk off, but you definitely would lose if I lose control. So instead of explaining that to, to, to women now, I've learned to stay the hell away from women that will ever even think about putting their hands on you. No, I ain't beat a car with no center block. I stayed slapped. It's on camera. Niggas was right there. Everybody was right there. Pow! 
No, imagine if I'd have slapped her like that for motherfuckers trying to holler at her. I'd be the worst guy in the world. I'd be misogynistic, uh, this and this. Thing. They're okay with one-way aggression. They're okay with men getting hit. I wasn't okay with it. I wanted the DDT, the first nigga that laughed. But, you know, then I had to realize, ain't nobody do shit to me. That's just dumb motherfucker. So let me get away from Rounder. And make sure I double back and get that number that got me slapped. Yeah, yeah, I done took this slap now. Shit, I might well slap some cheat. And somebody else cheat go get slapped because I got mine slapped. Fuck that. <laughs> so shit, I did what a true player would do. Shit, you, you riled up, you done, you done hit me, you slap. Oh, you going to the, oh. Uh, look here, baby girl, she was out of control. I apologize that happened. You know what I'm saying? I done got slapped now, so you might well give me your goddamn number. You done got me beat up and shit. The hell are you? You don't got me beat up and jumped on. You're going to have to put some ice on this motherfucker now. Yeah, because it look like I ain't got nobody no more. So I'm going to need you to put some ice on this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Shit. I'm going to need you to put some ice on this motherfucker, baby. This shit hurt. Yeah, this shit don't hurt. This shit hurt. Oh man, I gotta get up out of here, man. Y'all, y'all got me up here cracking up. Yeah, I need some ice for this shit, baby. This shit hot. <laughs> and so that's how the that's how the cookie be crumbling, though. I got slapped, but it, it be niggas chasing her. You okay? <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking. I'm looking at everybody trying to get their beard in. It be bouncing. It be all kind of shit. You okay? Did he touch you? Bitch ass nigga, I got slapped. How the fuck is you asking her? Is she okay? Fuck, bro. I wanted to choke slam all them niggas. It was a lot of them, though. But I'm like, damn, these niggas trying to pitch they woo. That's how these girls always think they right about shit. Them niggas, you okay? You all right? Did he, did, did he hit you? Bitch, if I would have hit her, she wouldn't be walking. What the hell is you talking about? So, yeah, the niggas do their simp thing, and, you know, it's some women that have checked on me. Are you okay? She is so rude. I saw the whole thing. If she don't know how to handle girls talking to you, that's not the type of woman you need to have around you because you seven foot tall. It's going to be women talking to you all the time. Yeah, she ain't she ain't the one. She don't, she don't get it. She's stupid. She going to get tricked off us position. That's what motherfucker was saying to me. So everybody do the same thing. The dudes pitch they woo and the guys pitch there. I mean, the girls pitch they woo and the guys pitch there. That's how it works. Hold on. Time to light. Hold on, y'all. Let me light this up. Uh, I'm trying to shake that runt shit off from last night. Yeah, that shit, that different. Yeah, I gotta shake that runt shit off. Them motherfuckers were too short. Them runts, too short. But them motherfuckers hit hard, boy. God damn. Boy, look at here. Motherfucker almost knocked my windpipe out for shit. <laughs> Tell me I'll make this swelling go down. <laughs> oh, hey. Make this swelling go down. Boy, y'all crazy as hell. And listen, guys with money, you got to make sure that you uh, white runts my, may go too hard. But I don't know what color they were, but goddamn, boy, I ain't never fucking with nothing with an R in front of it. Fuck a runt. Fuck all that shit. Uh-uh. Nigga, I'm telling you, I, I fell asleep for real eating my Sunday dinner. You think I'm playing? Man, that shit, I was eating that shit. Once I got where I go, I opened that package and I warmed it up. I was eating that shit. They said, I woke up this morning. The goddamn plate in front of me. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. What the hell? I, I call that nigga. I say, hey man, I don't want no more of that shit. I done gave that shit away to a nigga that said they could appreciate it. <laughs> and nigga, you gotta give me something else. Uh-uh. No. Mm-mm. 
Not doing dinner. Yeah, doing dinner. That shit there, that ain't for me. Mm -mm. Hell no. That shit said you going to sleep, and I mean right now. <laughs> I have no control over that shit. The fool was watching you, yeah. Mm-hmm. That shit done. I ain't know what it was. That shit been happening to me two, three nights in a row. I've been going to sleep. So I called, I called and I said, man, what is this shit, man? What is it? Something done changed. What is this shit? Oh, I gave you this shit called this shit, right? Oh, yeah, that shit called right. I said, a what? I said, nigga, I'm going to goddamn, never mind. But yeah, I, I, yeah, that shit over with. Fuck a run. That shit put me night night. And when it say go to sleep, it's like I can't do nothing about it. It be like, go to sleep, nigga. Yeah, that ain't that ain't the shit I smoke for my my ankle and my back and my shit. Mm -mm. That shit there, yeah, uh -uh. that's like a fucking. Mm -mm. No, I don't want none of that shit no more. <laughs> Somebody talking about what? Run? So y'all know about this shit, melatonin runs. Y'all y'all know all about this shit that I'm talking about. Huh? That was my first time. I ain't fucking with that shit never again. All oh, three days in a row, I'm like, why the fuck am I so sleepy? I went outside, worked on the damn tractor. Moving shit around. So I'm like, okay. You know, I smoked. I didn't really feel it while I was on the tractor. So I smoked one. I get off the tractor. I go live. Next thing you know, I'm sitting down. As soon as you sit down, that bitch puts you to sleep. You rappers that's getting caught blacking, you niggas just falling asleep. Y'all better stay away from that shit. Run. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's a strong indicator. I knew it. Man, that shit there is fuck. I couldn't think. I couldn't remember what the fuck I was trying to say. I'm goddamn just talking. And just, uh, uh, yeah, but I was about to say, uh, wake up and say something else. Yeah, this food good, ain't it? Yeah, that food good. <laughs> I say, oh hell no, the fuck. The hell the nigga that gave me nigga, you are fucked up. I think I'm moving to Colorado so that don't happen no more. I don't sit here talking and sleeping at the same You, you, you like the season I put on there, that shit tastes good. <laughs> oh yeah, oh uh, yeah, I used uh I used one can of cream of mushroom and I put a little garlic and herb. <laughs> I would knock the fuck out. <laughs> Man, shit. <laughs> yeah, I put a little garlic and herb seasoning in there, and then I put a little... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. I'm back on that sativa, baby. This the shit. I ain't gonna lie. That's the tea. Me, call, uh, like a, uh, some green tea and sativa. Man, look here. Yes, yes. Yeah, one of them night night niggas. Yeah, that nigga gonna give me the wrong shit. Oh shit, I missing gave you the run. Man, you gonna give me man nigga, you fire. <laughs> shit. Good thing nobody wasn't really looking for me. If them motherfuckers were really looking for me, they I wouldn't have been hard to find. I'd fall asleep right in front of your motherfucker there. What's up, nigga? You want some smoke? <laughs> Nigga, that smoke here pronto, nigga. What's up, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I was knocking out like a mother. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Shit. This shit some bullshit. Now, this shit right here now. This shit that real shit. Tell about no, <laughs> no, stop snoring. Nigga, man, listen here. I was snoring in the middle. Listen, I was asking questions about the food and falling asleep. I was catching myself falling asleep, trying to stop falling asleep until I woke up the next morning. Yeah, I ain't fucking with that shit no more. Hmm. Hybrid blend? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. In D.C., I did. But I don't want no grunts. Huh? No, I, I ain't trying no hybrid blend of that. 
Mm-mm. Excuse me. Put clove or cinnamon in my tea with lemon. Hey, look here, man. You better stop watching me. Uh, yeah, I'm steeping my tea right now. I steep my tea. I put some clove, some cinnamon, and some ginger in my shit with some honey. Yeah, man, this nigga hate. Nah, he ain't hate. He know what he got going on. That's what I'm talking about. Let me see. Let me put some honey up in that thing. I kept hearing myself coughing. I said, man, I got to get back to taking my tea. Put my ginger in my tea, my clothes. A little bit of runt with a strong right. <laughs> man, shit. I ain't fucking with that runt shit no more. Hey, look here. That was a mistake. But I can see how guys get caught up, boy. That that shit right there puts you straight to sleep, boy. Niggas don't get caught lacking. They get caught on that run. <laughs> For every nigga that they got caught lacking, I guarantee they homeboys gave them some runs. I think these niggas, that's the new thing to set a nigga up with. They setting them niggas up, them rappers passing around them runs, and whoever hit that run, that's the nigga they going to get that night. That's the nigga they going to shoot at. Mm-mm. Cause that nigga ain't going nowhere on that run. By the time he wake up and figure out who the hell doing what, it's going to be too late. It's going to be a hell of bullets out of his ass. He ain't going to get himself together. Mm-mm. That's why I like to know where I'm going. Know the people I'm going there with and being around. Yeah, hey, rappers, if any one of y'all friends trying to get y'all runs, stay away from that nigga. That nigga trying to get you to fall asleep for your op. <laughs> if an op would have pulled up, I wouldn't have known nothing till the morning. I'm talking about wake up unalive. <laughs> for real. Nigga waking up in hell and heaven. Talking about, damn, all I did was hit a run. What the fuck? How I get out of here? <laughs> Oh, I had to call. My nigga got there. I'm talking about all I did was hit a motherfucking run. How the hell I get down here? <laughs> then the devil remember all that shit you did. Yeah, your homeboy hit you, gave you the runs. But now you down here with me. Cameron on big runs, thinking he can out uh, uh hoop travel. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, he ain't on big runs. Let's pump that shit up. I think he can beat him. I right, because I'm betting on Chalmers. Hell yeah, I think Cameron can beat him. I gotta bet me something on this shit. Shit, I got a boy. Look here. I have some infused honey with sativa. Man, you need to email me some shit, man. Didn't you say you go? Did you email me, bro? Man, I gotta check my email. It might be me. I apologize for raising my voice. Cause you talking about st- st- sativa with honey and all this shit. I apologize for talking loud. I'm gonna just check my email. Cause you might have emailed me. Appreciate the super chat. I'm gonna check my motherfucking email today. It's raining outside too. I got two or three things to do. I gotta go do a couple little things here and there. I gotta go by the goddamn floor they call. And after that, I might as well make it a check my email day. <laughs> oh, it's buslifebiz at gmail.com. Can somebody put it in the chat, please, so you can email me? Shit, man, y'all trying to mess up all the links. Oh, that's what I gotta start doing. I'm gonna have a whole day. Did I just look at emails? Because I started off looking at emails and some of the shit I see be goddamn just running me off the email. But I'm not going to let nothing run me off the email. I'm going to do a whole day of just checking, responding to, and going through emails. Fuck this shit. Because I got to start back going to my coffee shops. I only go to a coffee shop so on certain times. But I got to start back going by myself to... uh Really check my email. <coughs> oh, shit, hold on. <coughs> Woo. Hey, Grover Tech, you say you specialize in infusing all kind of stuff. 
Hey man, who do you uh you got a weed business or, or something like that? We need to get a strand together, man. I'm telling you, this shit big business, man. I got a dumbass teammate that supposedly sell weed, but instead of this stupid motherfucker doing some business with me, he'd rather argue with me to impress his white friends. What a fucking idiot. You know how much money goddamn a weed strand that I'm backing and I'm talking about going goddamn make? This boy an idiot. He would rather try to steal it and do it without me, and then people won't get it. We gotta have that bus life strand, cause motherfuckers that live in that bus life need to be able to smoke. You gotta have that swagger dad. I'm just to jump off the show. Grover on tip on Twitter. Okay, I need to start. See, I gotta start working all this social media shit. They thinking I'm dumb and shit just because I don't fuck around with social media. I don't try that shit because that's how these niggas be getting caught. See, I used to be a thot, so I I knew the one way to be a good thot is to not have no visible presence on social media. <laughs> so I never had no presence on social media. You can't find me nowhere. But I be everywhere. I need a trampoline time indica. That's what I'm talking about. See, ain't nobody had to worry about getting caught on social media fucking with me because I ain't had nothing. I need a piece of paper. I want to write this shit down. I, I, I done started putting together me a to-do list. I want to start knocking this shit off my to-do list. And one of my things on the, my to-do list I got to start doing is uh, technical shit like reaching out to tech companies, reaching out to advertisers, shit like that. So I got to spend a whole day doing shit like that. So I'm becoming a better bus, a better independent bus. You sent me a few emails? Okay. Let me write that down. DJ. DJ. D James. Z. W. I got to start writing shit down. I got me a list. Shit that I'm going to start doing. And now that it's raining. And when I'm off the internet, I'm just going to be checking emails. And on that swagger dash, as long as it ain't runs. Reach out to G Grovener Tech Twitter DM. All right. And I got to reach out to, I said I was going to reach out to this young lady. And I know how to reach out to her too. Let me write that down too so I don't forget. Because sometimes I think the swagger dash will slap your brain cells loose and make you forget. Okay, yeah, I got me a nice little to-do list. Boy, look at here. Yeah, I need that strap, but I, I need Stativa. I like Indica at night. I, when I'm ready to take me a, you know, a nap, I, I like Indica at night. But lately, I'll smoke a Stativa before I go to sleep. So I need to be alert. Yeah, I like to be up. KB, don't go away ever. KB does YouTube on Rust. Hell no, I tried to do YouTube on Rust. I'm falling asleep. I'm like, I'm trying to say certain shit. And already when I get high, my my, my mouth be water and shit. And I slur my words and shit when I smoke. But that Rust shit, uh-uh, that shit, no, man. I couldn't tell. I was high, drunk. I couldn't tell what I was. All I knew was I was ready to go to fucking sleep. No, that's, that's all I knew was I'm about to go to sleep. I don't give a damn what we about to do, what y'all about to do, but what I'm about to do is go to sleep. Yeah, sativa. I like a little sativa and a little tea. 
Now, whatever everybody else like, that's what they can like. The sativa and tea, I can still function. I can still do what I need to do. I'm mellow. When motherfuckers cut me off in traffic, I only cuss them out a little bit. I don't speed like that. Nothing. I just be chilling. Sativas are usually stronger than indica, but yeah, but they you you're still able to be up. You don't like sativa? Why not? Oh, you like to be in that euphoria state. Hey, look, Rachel, that runt shit almost killed me last night. <laughs> I wonder why I kept going to sleep. That runt shit, I've been smoking some shit I ain't never had before. I ain't fucking with that shit never again. I'm a high functioning Indicut user. The <laughs> the runts is like a sleeping pill for sure. Oh man, that shit, dog! It was like a gradual sleeping pill. Like I hit it, I'm hitting it, and I'm driving, and I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck going on? I'm hit it some more, and I'm driving. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh my god, damn! So I'm like, this this I'm like, this ain't right. What the hell going on? So I'm sitting there cooling. I say, all right, I'm going to go get them warm up my food. I'm going to eat my food when I got where I'm going. Shit, I got halfway through my Sunday dinner. And my Sunday dinner was watching me. I woke up looking at my Sunday dinner. So I ain't fucking with no, that runt shit. Mm -mm. No, sir, no ma'am. Yeah, that shit, they're crazy. It start off with an R. I don't want nothing to do with it. Oh, so, uh, Rachel, you said you're a high functioning uh, indica smoker? Well, maybe I, I can smoke an indica too, but apparently this runt shit is too high. Yeah, this this run shit is on a whole nother level. It's on a new level. I don't want no problem with that run. Yeah, I was looking for CBD, but he he crossed me up and gave me runs. I don't know nothing about no runs, and I don't want no runs. I want CBD. Man, <laughs> that's fucking nuts. The Blue Dream Classic. Dinner sitting there talking. Well, shit, at least I had some dinner. I, I had to make my own though. But shit. There's other people that they got people to make their shit, but they they on YouTube. Man, that listen, I promise. Some of them rappers, I'm telling you, I believe some of them rappers that got shot and shit, falling asleep in their cars on them runs and shit. I can guarantee. Half hour loud, I think that covered all bases. I'm off that ice cream cake. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> ice cream cake. I like that shit. I done had that. I done had that out of dispensary though. I done had ice cream cake or wedding cake. It's all kind of cake. Cake, 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 cake. 
What do you think of the pictures we already knew? Carcino, Cousin Lane, and I don't smoke weed. No, you don't smoke weed? Hey, shit. More for me. Hey, Josh. Joshua, we are related, too, are we? Are we? What? Nope, you listening to Bus Life Radio. Oh, Runtz is made from wedding cake and Girl Scout cookie. Damn. Well, I'm going to stay away from both of those. Because that runt shit is too strong. Let me see if my tea done steeped. Y'all know what that means. I, I figure that shit out online. You got to put a little saucer on top of that shit. You got to put a little saucer on top of it. And you let it sit there for a minute and steep your tea. Ah. Yes, yes. Y'all niggas ain't have no steep tea in the morning. You nigga too mad to have steeped tea. Ah. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> Ain't none of y'all niggas have no steep tea. Boy, I'm trying to stop laughing. Ooh. Yeah. Y'all think they had no steep tea? Shit. A oh, green tea. Yeah, sure is. Yes, green. A fish and grit. I got my grits on the stove right there. I'm about to eat me some uh, salmon croquette uh, with the grits and the egg. So, yeah. I had mullein tea yesterday. I got turmeric tea. Turmeric. I think that's how you pronounce it. Turmeric. Let me let me pronounce things the right way because they'd be like, oh, his dumb ass don't know how to say nothing. I got milk thistle tea. I got green tea. I got turmeric tea. I have what is that? Lavender tea. I have black tea. And I have what is this? I don't know what the hell tea that is. Passion tea. I will be infusing some honey this week. I will send you a sample if you like. Okay, bet. But I'm going to test it on somebody now. And if they kill over, I'm going to test it on the police. I'm going to let them know I got it from Grove Tech. And I'm going to give them your email now. If he kill over, he know to come get you now. Girl, you know, you're a stranger until that shit work good. You know what I mean? So I got to question you until you pass the test. So, yeah, I'm going to give it to the police. I'm going to let him take it. If he don't die, you don't go to jail. <laughs> I mean, if he die, you go to jail. So, you know, you know, if he's cool, then we I'm going to call you. <laughs> Salute to you, bro. Lipton tea. Stay away from arsenic tea. God damn, who the hell wants some arsenic tea? It's turmeric. Yeah, I think I pronounced it right. <laughs> he told me I'll make sure it's not indica. <laughs> yeah, I, I would give a sample to the police, let them taste it. You know what I mean? Make sure it ain't nothing in it. Oh, 
I drink spicy peach turmeric tea. Turmeric. Shout it out. Turmeric. Turmeric. I think I said it right. Turmeric. That's how they be saying it on the computer. Turmeric. You got to twist up a hog leg. <laughs> what the fuck? going to twist up a hog leg. Hey, man, y'all crazy. Hey, if y'all see me out, my face is peeling off. When y'all see me, my face going to be peeling. I'm going to set my face on fire again. Y'all want to see a picture of my face? No, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a big reveal. Uh, my picture burn up, my face burn up again, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I had a chemical pill. Have, have any one of y'all had a damn chemical pill? Uh, if you're gonna have a chemical pill, what I learned is that don't go get a haircut before a chemical pill. Cause if you get a fucking haircut before a chemical peel, that shit hurt like fuck. <laughs> Do not go get a haircut before a chemical peel. Cause if you do, that hurt like a motherfucker. I'm in there tearing up. She talking about, do, do it hurt? What's the pain talking from one to six? I'm just sitting there, motherfucker, at a 15. I'm, I, you know, I did the man thing. I said, shit, one or two, shit. <laughs> Until she started seeing them big whelps come up on my face. She said, hey, did you get a haircut before you came in? I was like, yeah. She's like, oh, that explained the tears that's coming out your eyes. <laughs> that shit burnt the hell out of my goddamn face. Uh-uh-uh. Lord Hammers. So wherever the clippers touch my face, play two chains in a one verse one. He been balling. Oh yeah, I play him. Yeah, yeah. I don't think two chain can play dead. They ain't shit at basketball. Hey, two chain. We just talking about keeping it on the court though. Shit. But yeah, I don't think that nigga can't play no basketball. Hell no, he can't fuck with me. That's why he turned into a rapper. He better stay in his rap lane. I want all the smoke. And I'm walking around with one leg. My ankle swole up. You heard my brother, my ankle fat as God dang it. I got grandma my ankles. And he still can't beat me. Now, go tell him I said that. Now. Excuse me. Tell him I said that. <laughs> Tell me I can't play what? I'm just saying. I want to be on the undercard. Me and Two Chain, uh, uh, and then they have uh, Cameron, and uh, we'll be the co-main event. The appeal is like a light scab all over your face but when it heals your face is new new yeah i'm just i burnt my damn face with that tractor so i'm just trying to get that damn black shit off my off my eye but they couldn't do it on my eye though well yeah so my whole face peeling off so if y'all see me out eating I ain't taking no picture. Hey, Ron John, you back? You ready to go again? I'm about to end the live, man. Ron, back. Shit, you back? I'm done talking. It's been two hours. I tell, I'm telling you, cornmeal is the way to go. You can use it daily. Cornmeal? What you do with it? Make it into a paste? Ask Screws what's up with some of his fish bite. Man, screw downstairs sleep.
So you looking like some vinyl. <laughs> Hey, man, it's been giving me time to stay in the house, focus on me. I'm working on me right now. How do people always say I'm working on me right now? But I got to go handle some business. Y'all have a blessed day, man. I had fun talking to y'all. Uh, shout out to Ears to the Streets TV 2.0. Salute to Carcino for life. Salute to Damn D, POV. Salute to... Um, uh, who else? It's just gems. Salute to Kwame Brown, greatest fans, Ticket TV. Um, who else? The political kryptonite, Mom Boss Mayo, Biz One Hundred One. Salute to all my moderators. Yeah, man, I had fun with y'all. Come in to hear the country whole scratching. Damn! Wow. Wow, so ladylike. Moonlight, it's okay. It's okay. And not only do you say your poom poom is 15, maybe your brain is 15 too. You just come in to somebody chat like that. Amazing. This is what our education look like. Goodness gracious. What a waste. <laughs> you have a blessed day, Moonlight. Take your pipe with you. I'm gone.